everyone welcome back to my channel today we are going to do a goodwill blue box unboxing and this blue box is from nashville tennessee me and nashville have a love-hate relationship when it comes to blue boxes i found some of my favorite things there and i have also found some real duds so hopefully this is going to be more of a favorite spot for me just trying to get in it's been a minute since i had one of these been recovering from surgery and so I had to go right back to work already, so I'm still recovering a little bit. I'm still a little swollen and bruised, but I'm making it work. So let's just hop right into this blue box and see what we've got here. Looking like treasures. I already see a few things that are catching my eye. So without any further ado, I guess let's get started. Or not without further ado, because I did forget my sorting boxes. So I am in the kitchen. I'll just grab some dishes real quick to sort into. Um, I guess I'm not prepared. I'm not used to this anymore. I'm going to have to go back and the thing of things. Here we go. Okay. First off, I have a bracelet with some faux stones. Now, it's kind of dingy. I don't know that I'll be able to clean it, but we'll give it a try. And I have here one super big earring. I'd be afraid that would get caught in my hair and like rip out. I don't know. Let's see. Okay, a chunky gold tone necklace. And it's got a chain tangled up in it. So let's get that out of there. Little chain earring. Okay, so I like this. This is in really good condition it up a little so you can see. It's got kind of like peach accents. And it is Napier. Very nice. I think that'll go for you. It's not quite my style, but it's beautiful. Here we just have kind of like a braided necklace. Not in very good condition. A little warped. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. This is kind of cute, but it's really old condition looking. I'll have to clean it up a little bit and see what it looks like. I like the actual colors of the necklace. I love that kind of like turquoise look. And it's got some pretty accent beads in there as well, like wood tone and like a gunmetal gray. We'll see what we can do with that. Here we have just like a cuff bracelet beaded. It would be cute with like a black sweater or something, I think. average earring cuff bracelet and bangles bangles are pretty much far, par for the course in these boxes I always get a ton of bangles I'm going to unload some our candies having a rubber sale in a few weeks here I'll put some out on the table and here we have a silver tone and black chunky statement necklace. Looks to be in pretty good condition. It's not really high under anything, but it's in good shape. Dirty little cord bracelet. I think we'll take a pass on that. Untangle. There's a nice pair of earrings. I love it when they're paired up. I tend to end up with a big cup of mismatched earrings. I always go through them after I film, but I don't always find pairs. And here we have a chain with an extender. It's like a circle with a stone in the middle. It's cute. And then here we have like one of those ID bracelets. It doesn't have anything engraved in it yet, which is nice. It looks almost brand new. Very interesting. Cute find. And then we have here, looks like a multiple strand necklace of amber colored beads. 
not in the best shape, a little dirty. I will clean it up and wash it and see if it holds together. If, it's in the right. if not, I will definitely use the beads for a bead lot. I need to work on some bead lots because I've sold all the ones I had up on eBay, but I still have a ton of loose beads and jewelry ready for de-beading. Here we have a mother of pearl style inlay. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm not sure how that clasp works. I'll have to figure that out later. Then a wrap bracelet. The wrap action is a little loose on this one. I'm not sure. Um, we'll wrap it around and see if we can make it work. If not, I will just use it for the beads. Some interesting beads on there anyway. Here we have an enormous hoop earring, a less enormous hoop earring with beads. And this looks like one of those little inspirational necklaces. What words of wisdom do we have here? Everything I am, you helped me to be. Well, that's a good sentiment. I like that. A little tangled. We'll get it going. Ah, that's nice. Okay, we'll set that over there. Big earring. Looks like a leaf. It's actually very pretty. And then a little chandelier style. Almost like a cocktail on that earring. Oh, this is cute. We have a multi-strand necklace. Really beautiful color of beads. I'll, get, I'll work on that and get it untangled, but I like that. That is cute. Okay, we've got a cup there holding a few different things together. We'll just pull it all out. Another one of those bracelets on a dirty little string. Not a fan. Cuff bracelet with fringes. Then here we have a double strand pearl bracelet. I'm having trouble with my arm, so I won't try to clasp that, but it's cute. And this looks like it may be broken, but I'm going to untangle it and see for sure. It just looks like there's an odd loose end hanging off of there that should not be. Almost there. It looks like we have like three things stuck together. So here we have another inspirational necklace with a saying. She has fire in her soul and grace in her heart. Well, good for her. Okay. Work on these other ones. There we go. Yep, loose end. I will try to save some beads for that for my bead lot. And here we have just this simple chain kind of like a bolero style with a screw clasp. That's good. I'll put it to the side after I clean it. I'm always finding at the bottom of these boxes tons of loose pendants that need a chain. So hopefully I can get some single chains and match up. So here we have a bib style necklace. I actually like this. Not for myself, but I, I just like the finish on that. That kind of shimmery gold finish. It reminds me of disco. And of course, some more bangles. This is a bangle and a tangle. I need to untangle my bangle. Come on. You can do it. Okay, we have a necklace with little ball accents. Another little rope bracelet and the bangle. already see a treasure for me, but I will put that to the side now. And then we have like a chandelier style earring. Another bangle, a little fancier.
background of probably faux pearls. But they're a nice cream color, smaller. I'll give those a go with my pearl cleaner. Then here we have another chain. None of these look real, but I'll still clean them up. They'll still be good for holding a pendant. Single earring. Here we have a metallic bracelet. Doesn't look like fine jewelry, but I might borrow this for a few weeks since I have been having trouble with my arms. I haven't really been able to put on much jewelry except for elastic bracelets, so I might try that. That was really easy to put on. And then here we have a nice toggle bracelet. I won't even try, but it's really kind of pretty. Concentric hoops, I like it. Another single earring. Then here we have kind of a statement style necklace. It's got some kind of milky crystals. Really pretty. I think I'll clean that up put it on eBay. And here we have a really cute floral necklace. And this is a treasure I think out of this box that I will definitely keep for me. Just because I've been looking for a floral necklace forever and I love yellow. This will go really good with like summer dress and a little cardigan at night. Love it. And this is from Natasha. Okay, let's pull out some more. Here we have a really chunky, chunky necklace with like a rhinestone heart. You can knock someone out with that thing. I'm not sure what that is. Hmm. Okay, some more loose earrings. Interesting tangle. Owl earring. This is a really big tangle. I don't. There's the earring come out of there. Another earring. a lot of loose earrings with no friends. Okay, I don't know that this looks like it's been tangled for a long time and it's kind of warped. I may just end up trying to save the beads from this. It's not looking good here. It's got like ribbon and beads and chains and yeah, we're just going to set that to the side for now. I think I'm not having too much luck. But I will do what I can to either untangle it or save the beads. Single earring. And then here we have like a pendant. It's got like a chunky pendant with three danglers there. Some more stuff out of here. little clip earring, another earring, another toggle bracelet, that one's cute too. Ooh, my paper towel is getting dirty. I have an ultrasonic jewelry cleaner so I'll be running all of this through there to clean it up. It usually comes pretty dirty out of these boxes. Single earring. And anything that can't be put through the jewelry cleaner, I clean by hand with like microfiber or soft cloths and jewelry cleaner. Okay, we have a chunky bracelet. Another bangle. That was pretty big. Whoop. Cuff bracelet, nice and heavy. She believed she could, so she did. Another inspirational piece of jewelry. 
little angel. It reminds me of the ornaments we used to have on our tree as a kid. I really like those little angels. Dangle earrings. More and more single earrings. That one's a little tangled. It's kind of a bummer that there's not more pairs in here. I've seen a lot of earrings come through, but not much that matches. That's the luck of the draw, though. Sometimes in these boxes I'll find like 40 pairs of earrings, and some I'll get all these earrings in just like two pairs. I kind of would like to see how they put these together. They just like take a big scoop. Here we have a braided beaded necklace. Looks like it's got sparkly accents on the other side. And it is from the Avenue. <coughs> And I will have to take care while I'm cleaning that up because there's so many strands of beads and I don't want to weaken the thread or anything. Another dangly earring. We'll just pull out a few here because I just see a ton of earrings laying here. see if I can pull out any pairs. If I do, I put them through the cleaner, and the other ones I just give a quick wipe down. Sometimes I give them to someone who I know is using them for crafts. Here we have a watch. It's not currently moving, but I do have several kinds of watch batteries in my jewelry kit, so I can pop the back off and see if we can get it working. Here we have another one of those metallic bracelets. I'll put that to the side while I sort out these earrings here. That's cute. I hope I find the pair for that. <laughs> the pair. No, but I like that. If I can't find the pair to it, I might turn it into a pendant or something. Because that's just cute. And it's my vibe. Kitty cat, Halloween style. Earring. Chunky earring. Kind of a old looking bracelet. Another bangle. More earrings. I'm still not seeing too many familiar ones, unfortunately. No matches here. Okay, we'll put them in the jar. Moving right along. Dirty tassel, always a favorite. And like I said before, there's another one of those metallic bracelets. And while my arm is still in not good shape, I think I might borrow those just so I can have a bracelet to wear. single earrings. Not too much left in there. Just pull out some more of these earrings here. This is heavy on the earrings, but not heavy on the pairs, unfortunately. I'm only seeing like maybe a couple pairs gone through so far. We'll get those out of the way. 
funky red plastic bracelet. Kind of mid-century looking. Ring. It's a little bent up, not the nicest ring in the world, but this ring's a little nicer. It's a gold tone. I might put that on eBay. A little pin. Get that untangled. There we go. It's like a statement necklace. It's got a nice thick chain. Pretty cute. Let's see what it looks like after I clean it up and check it for missing stones. If everything is as it should be, it'll probably go to eBay. And yet more loose earrings. And an owl pendant, but it's on the cord that looks a little dirty, so I don't know about him. And with a little dirty bracelet. Okay. In the bottom of the barrel here, we'll just dump it out and take a look. And just as I go through this, I see it's mostly loose earrings. I just want to take a minute to say thank you so much for watching my video today. I really appreciate it. I'm sorry I haven't been coming out with as many videos lately. I'm going to try to get it on a more regular schedule now that I'm healing up some. And I just look forward to getting back to normal and doing these videos for you guys. I also need to do some work on my eBay page. I just need to get some more lots up there. I have some jewelry cleaned and ready to go. I'm going to work on that later today. Here's a pretty pin. Clean that up a little. And then just some loose earrings here. I saw him before, so we've got ourselves a pair. Oh, running away. So I do have more jewelry boxes on the way that I got from shopgoodwill.com. I'll be going through those over the upcoming weeks as they arrive. One of them hasn't even shipped out yet, but we will check them out. I have other goodies coming as well. And like I said, I will work on getting the eBay page updated. I've got some bead lots I'm working on. Those have been really popular. I sell out every time I put those on. So there you have it. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Thank you so much for hanging in there and watching with me. And I will see you soon.